Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can use the replay feature. Yes, the replay feature, which has been added as part of sim update number seven. It currently is in preview, right? So don't expect that everything is working. There are some limitations and there are also some things which you need to be aware of when using it. So first question is, where can you find the tool? Well, to get access to the tool, you need to enable the developer options and you can find them under options, general options. There you'll find developers and you can switch it to on. Click on apply and save. Uh, it will give a warning if you already installed the SDK but didn't have the latest version. In that case, make sure that you're updating it. Although I found out that it's not a hard requirement to use the replay tool. So now we enabled the developer tool or developer mode. You need to go to options and then on the bottom or almost on the bottom, you see the enable replay panel and you can see I enabled it, but you can also disable it by simply clicking at it. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna re enable it. Uh, so that's all what you need to do. There's one thing which you need to be aware of that you need to do this step prior to, I would say, starting a flight. If you don't do it, it will not allow you to enable this option uh, if you're already, already at an airport. So let's go onto the runway uh, and see how this tool works. So what Asobo did is they have chosen to, de I'd say, release a pre-release, uh, which is not 100% functioning, but also has some limitations. For example, if you want to use a certain functionality to move the camera to a different position, you can't do it with your keyboard. You do require to have an Xbox controller. That currently is a limitation, and I'm not sure if they will change it in the future. If they will, it will be a challenge because if you don't have an Xbox, uh, then you probably need to buy a separate controller to use that functionality. The current version of the tool is not 100% bug free, but that's expected with a work in progress tool. Right, so we're on the runway and we need to, or we want to start, or I would say record the uh, takeoff. So to do that, you need to go to the uh, toolbar on the top and there you will find the replay tool and the replay tool uh, is separated in a few sections you've got the sequence recording which allows you to start the recording you've got the time controls which allow you to I'd say start and stop uh, the movie but also to add some points which will cover in a few moments you've got the camera track recording which is only applicable and I would say usable when using the Xbox and of course, you've got the load and save options. So you can either load a previously recorded uh, video or I should say replay, or you can save one if you cry created one. Uh, the show and high GUID, I'm not sure where what the effect is. Uh, I tried it multiple times, but I don't see uh, the result. So how to start recording? Well, that's pretty simple. There is a button here, uh, which almost looks like a recording button. Uh, and then you simply press it. You can see that it activates the set sequence location and also the save as option. So let's remove the parking brake and then we're gonna take off. go and we're going airborne and we're flying and yeah you can change the options uh, or you can change the view by pressing the insert button and now let's press stop be aware that the aircraft will continue to fly because you didn't really pause the game so that's one thing you need to be aware of the other thing is that you see a drop down now here but currently it's an issue that the i would say created sequence will not be listed if you only created one sequence but if we would do the same thing again so let's do it let's fly a bit and hit stop again 
you will see that it becomes active and you see it as replay one and the number of seconds well, the, yeah the number of seconds or the number of minutes being recorded uh, with the replay one and replay two which are the automatic names you can easily rename them by clicking on it and then specifying another name in the uh, say text box below so let's say uh, call this one takeoff and then use this option and then you will see it has been renamed so be aware of that easy option to rename it because replay 2 and replay 1 doesn't tell much to us uh, once you selected the replay you can say set the sequence location right so uh, that's one option you can do or you can hit the reset sequence location as you currently see there's not much happening because we didn't do much to start the uh, let's say sequence from scratch you need to hit the play button which is listed here if you press play it will start from the scratch however what you're seeing now is I would say kind of weird right because I'm already airborne so if I I also can't change the camera currently so let me do that again so it's I would say moving but it's already in the air that's why you need to make sure that you reset the uh, sequence location if you don't do it it will start from the position where you currently are if you want to pause replay simply hit the pause button because that allows you to do a few things for example add a marker and on that marker you can do multiple things one of them is changing the camera track but again for this you need to have an xbox controller so you can change the active camera and active camera position during the flight right that's cool if you kind of create cinematic movies then you can look from different angles and that's where you can use the camera track for the other option you can do is uh, changing the weather so for example i want to change the weather at this specific moment i can click on it i can uh, disable the real weather and i can say okay hey what needs to be the weather should we make it really nasty well, for example rain yeah once then once that's done you can click it here and you can let's say click play again and it will continue if you want to start from scratch you need to click stop and then click on play again currently you see that the weather is i would say not honored right uh, as according to the asobo um, video or asobo video uh, asobo document you should be able to set the weather per i would say point uh, there's also another point which i found out uh, let me uh, in the meantime uh, stop the flight or start the flight and then pause it there's also another point which you can use uh, to be honest i didn't find out the difference yet uh, so let's see if we can change the weather here or maybe that that works better uh, so we're going to change the weather to say uh, clear skies can see that there was a heavy rain and then i would say we're gonna go further and then do another one and then say uh, what shall we do also clear skies and then if you hover between them you can see that it changes or it looks like to change or not Oh, it doesn't change at all <laughs> why not so let's remove these buttons then let's set the weather again so the weather is set then we're gonna add the button at the start of the sequence and then scroll further then do another one scroll further then add another one so this is how you can easily skip between the points right so now i can quickly click on this one and then i'm back at the uh, original points but this was not what we're searching for right we try to change the uh, weather itself so 
to change the weather uh, we did everything correct at least i think we did everything correct but i'm trying to see what we did wrong and i think we used the incorrect button because i think you need to use this one so let's add another one here let's add another one here let's add another one here and let's add another one here so based on the documentation these are for the camera recording points and this is to change the weather uh, it would have been nice if they would have i would say done some uh let's say text above the uh, buttons so we can say few clouds then here we say okay we've got uh, scarlet clouds and then here we've got broken clouds then here we've got high level clouds so let's hit stop and let's hit start again because i'm wondering if it works because to be honest i don't see any difference but again maybe it's me right Oh, it also says that it doesn't always work and if it doesn't work you need to remove everything and then start from scratch so it looks like this is a known issue so we're gonna delete them again well let's not do it i, I challenge you to to test it uh, according to asobo it should work but it could call it should there's a known issue where they say sometimes the weather keyframes don't work in this case delete all your weather keyframes and replace them this should fix the problem uh, so hopefully this will be fixed I would say in uh, a future version so enough talked what can you do else well you can click save as the save as uh, prompts you to save the file and you can save it as a JSON replay file and then of course if you saved it uh, then uh, restart flight simulator then you can use the nice load button to load the replay file uh, camera track recording you can uh, record it but it won't work a lot because we don't have the xbox controller so we can't change the camera position and then we can stop it now you can see that we've got two tracks one track is the sequence recording and the second track is the camera position right so you can have multiple camera positions uh, i'm not sure if it works if you go outside uh, i don't think it will work but let's let's try it now see we can't go outside it goes directly inside so that's why you probably need the xbox controller because it's i would say kind of locking your keyboard uh, so this is i would say how the replay tool currently works as you can see there's a lot of work to do uh, for example descriptions above the buttons would be nice and some other fixes uh, which need to be added to the solution so let's see when asobo will launch a new version of the tool here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time